Hello friends, this is Dr. Visi Marazu, Associate Professor from IRE. Today, we are going to discuss noise equivalent bandwidth and effective noise temperature. So in the last video, we discussed what is the narrowband noise and uh, what are the components in the narrowband noise we discussed. Now, the noise equivalent bandwidth. So when white noise is passed through a filter, having a response H of F. Some of the noise power is rejected by the filter and some is passed through to the output. That means we are using one filter. So the filter having the frequency response H of F. We are giving the input as a white noise W of T. So this filter which rejects some of the noise power and some is passing through to the output. Okay, so getting some output. So this you can say as a narrowband noise in the previous video. Now we use the bandwidth of that equivalent ideal rectangle filter to calculate the thermal noise flow. That means by using this noise equivalent bandwidth, that means which filter we are using, that means here the bandwidth of this filter, what you are using this uh, filter, that is the noise equivalent bandwidth and to calculate the thermal noise flow. Okay? So this is uh, the noise equivalent bandwidth Bn and H of F is the frequency and response of the filter. Okay, so Bn is the noise equivalent bandwidth. So now we are going to calculate that to Bn noise equivalent bandwidth. For this, we are considering an arbitrary low pass filter. Of transfer function H of F at the input of which white noise of zero mean and power spectral density in R by two. So SN naught of F, which is equal to mod square of H of F into N naught by two. That is uh, the equation one. That is we are considering this a uh, noise. Uh, or spectral density or power spectral density of the output noise you can written as S naught of F which is equal to mod square H of F into N naught by 2. So the average output power is uh, B average is represented by B average which is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity S naught of F DF. Now we are going to substitute this S naught of F in the previous equation in this uh, second equation. So here I am going to substitute minus infinity, infinity and what is S naught of F? That is mod square H of F. So mod square H of F into N naught by 2 df not by 2 df so here we are going to change in the limits it is an odd by 2 into 2 of integral 0 to infinity mod square h of f into df so this 2 numerator denominator 2 is going to cancel find the p average which is equal to an odd into Integral 0 to infinity mod square h of f df. So, this is our third equation. When the same white noise source is connected to the input of an ideal low pass filter 
of zero frequency response that is h naught of zero h naught that is h of zero whereas in previous we taken as h of f so here zero frequency response so f is zero and the bandwidth bm the average noise output power is obtained as written as a pn which is equal to a naught bn bar square h of zero so here the bn is the this noise equivalent bandwidth we are going to find this bn by using this equation now we are going to equate that means uh, the filter noise output power pn is finite and proportional to the bandwidth the bandwidth bn is called the noise equivalent bandwidth of the low pass filter so for getting this bn we are going to equating those two equations that is uh, p average and which is equal to p yeah so what is uh, p average again go to the previous slide so the p average which is equal to a naught integral integral zero to infinity mar square h of f df so here writing this the p average which is equal to a naught integral zero to infinity mod square h of f into df which is equal to now the pm what is the pm so again the pm which is equal to a naught bn mod square which is zero so that is a naught bn a naught bn into mod square h of zero so we require this noise bandwidth so here a naught a naught is going to cancel and finally the bm which is equal to integral mod square h of f df divided by mod square h of zero so this is the noise equivalent bandwidth of low pass filter okay and coming to the effective noise temperature here the available noise power is directly proportional to the temperature and is independent of resistor value this provides a convenient way of expressing available noise power from different noise sources the power specified in terms of temperature is called as noise temperature so here we are going to write the noise power that is p equal to k t p simply so k is a boltzmann constant which is the noise bandwidth and t which is going to f minus 1 to t naught so that is a uh, f2 temperature given f2 in this uh, p equal to kt b okay so therefore t is f minus 1 into t naught the noise at the input of the amplifier input is uh, p and a which is equal to f minus 1 kt naught b so this is the uh, noise contributed by the amplifier this noise power can be alternately represented by some just temperature that is t equivalent, which is equal to f minus 1 into t naught. Thank you. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.